Buffalo Mountain is a natural area preserve in Floyd County, which is in southwest Virginia. It has a rounded summit that stands at 3,971 feet and provides a nearly 360 degree view. Its rounded summit is classified as a dome shape and is what gives Buffalo Mountain its name due to it looking like the back of a buffalo when viewed from afar. With looking like the back of a buffalo, Floyd County schools have adopted the buffalo as its mascot. On top of the mountain as well, it is home to 12 plant species and two invertebrate species that are rare in Virginia. Though this mountain is so comparably tall to the surrounding landscape, it did not undergo typical mountain building processes. Buffalo Mountain is part of the ash formation, a belt of metasedimentary schists, gneisses, and amphibolites. It was deposited between 690 and 570 million years ago during the Neoproterozoic when the Atlantic Ocean was forming. So Buffalo Mountain is composed of amphibolite grade metamorphic rocks as well as green schist grade metamorphic rocks. Uh, so because of that, uh, it probably formed at about 500 degrees Celsius at 4 kilobars of pressure or around there. It varies a little bit. Uh, and you also see these hydrothermal quartzite veins running through uh, the rocks. At Buffalo Mountain we see amphibolite and green schist which are both metamorphic rocks. A metamorphic rock is a rock where the protolith or original rock's mineral assemblage changes at great depth because of changes in pressure and temperature. Green schist and amphibolite form between 10 and 35 kilometers together, which is approximately 6 to 22 miles underneath the ground. Amphibolite is a coarse grained metamorphic rock that contains abundant amphibole crystals, hence the name amphibolite, and these black elongated crystals in this rock are the amphibole crystals. The rocks present on Buffalo Mountain are believed to have formed through multiple stages of deformation. This means that the folding that can be seen today within the rocks was caused by multiple periods of heating and cooling, as well as variations in applied pressure. These multiple stages of deformation were either formed during the Taconic orogeny, which occurred 444 to 470 million years ago, or during the Allegheny orogeny, which occurred 260 to 325 million years ago. An orogenic event is a process in which sections of the Earth's crust are folded and deformed by lateral compressions to form mountain ranges. Though it is believed Buffalo Mountain underwent some form of an orogenic event, these most likely were not the final events exposing the Buffalo Mountain we see today. To summarize the orogenic events, you have to intrude the igneous rock, probably 600 million years ago, metamorphose and deform it at maybe 450 million years ago, maybe deform it a little bit more at 350, 380, and then bulldoze it into place without doing any additional metamorphism or large-scale folding at about 300. What you stand on at the summit of Buffalo Mountain today, at the end of Appalachian Mountain Building, was underneath miles more rock. So there have literally been miles of rock removed to expose what you see at the surface today at, at Buffalo. We believe that Buffalo Mountain went under multiple stages of deformation, and sitting here we think this is one of the final stages of deformation. This meter scale fold with one limb to my back and one limb across to my feet with the water bottle in the hinge of the fold is trending northwest to southeast with the shallow dip, and this can be seen throughout multiple locations on Buffalo Mountain. A modern example of the possible conditions in the formation of Buffalo Mountain can be observed in the Swiss Alps. The Swiss Alps underwent similar originic processes with the closing of the Test Sea and the continental collision of the African and Eurasian tectonic plates. It is thought that Buffalo Mountain experienced comparable pressure and temperature conditions forming similar folded amphibolite and leucratic layers as those seen within the Alps. The more recent formation of the Swiss Alps and observed similarities to the Appalachian mountain range allow us to get a better understanding of the processes that could have formed Buffalo Mountain. In conclusion, Buffalo Mountain is part of the ash formation and is interpreted to have gone through several deformation events due to different orogenies as well as substantial erosion exposing the mountain we see today. Modern research is highly suggested though to be certain on the order of events that occurred. Through these orogenic events, incredible close-up views are provided of metamorphic rocks that underwent formation processes that occurred miles beneath the surface millions of years ago. Along with the unique rocks present, Buffalo Mountain provides an incredible view that can be obtained within a 15-minute hike from your car.